It has been exactly one hour since the disappearance of Eagly the Eagle, a sad and shocking turn of events that has turned our own California High, once predictable and mundane, into a slaughterhouse for all that is good and holy. Truly a tragic day of tragedy. We now turn to our reporters in the field, Freddie and Reese, who are undercover outside the disciplinarian's office. Dude, I didn't even get the katana I wanted for Christmas, and I've been looking forward to it for like months, and it's I'm just- I'm really sorry perfect. about that. You think I'd <coughs> save up? Uh, oh, thanks, Johnny. Yeah, thanks, Johnny. We're currently stationed outside of Dr. Weinmar's office for any news about the fate of one Aloysius Raymond Clark, also known as the Amazing Aloysius. The self-proclaimed- The self-proclaimed magician who made Eagly disappear, but was unable to make him reappear. Right now, sources are saying that Aloysius acted alone. Acted alone in his act of domestic terrorism. Unfortunately, the whereabouts, Unfortunately, the whereabouts of Eagly are still as of yet unknown. But for all of our loyal viewers, I want you to know that though he may be my cousin, I do not love him. Uh, uh, Freddy. I just want our viewers to know I'm unbiased. Thanks, Freddy. Shucks, how do you know it was us? <laughs> Back to you, Johnny. Truly a tragedy. Truly. Well, viewers, thank you for tuning in. This has been California High Student News. I'm your president, Johnny Grape. I'm vice president, Emily Reinhardt. And as always, go, go Eagles. Eagles. Cut. Great job today, Emily. Really hard hitting stuff. Thanks, Johnny, you too. Good job today, Johnny. Thanks for not laying it too thick on Raymond. Of course, I wouldn't do that, you know? Um, sorry about Freddie, though. That was totally unscripted. It's all right. How's your political movie going, by the way? Sorry. Can we get someone on that? I've got it. Thank you so much. Uh, like I was saying, do you want me to maybe just talk to my dad about it? And, you know, see if he'll just listen to your message? First of all, it's going great. We have a costume fitting tomorrow. I really just let it play out. I want to know that the movie was good on its own, you know? Okay, of course. Fair enough. Have a good day, Kate. You too, Johnny. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Johnny. Did Mr. Rogers like that paper I helped you out with? No. He loved it. That's, <laughs> you had me there. Uh, remember to tell your mom that I said thanks for those scrumptious brownies she brought to the basement. As long as you tell your uncle thanks for the software update. Will do, man. Have a great day. You too. <clears throat> Talk to me, Molly. Well, you're polling great since that post from Artemis Jones, most notably with the soccer team, drama club, and glee club. We can always count on glee club. This whole eagerly thing has everyone really riled up, and they're looking for leadership in the chaos, so you need to present yourself as really empathetic to the cause. Lots that of school spirit. Thing, that whole thing is just so sad. I, but I bet you dollars and donuts that if we changed the California High Hummingbird to the life I suggested, none of this ever would have happened. I've been saying it since Michelangelo was in charge. It's way less divisive. I know, Johnny. Anyway, since your dad passed that new bill in the house, along with your uncle getting John Stamos to co-present the new Convexa update, at least all that positive attention is passing on to you. Oh, please. We've talked about this. I'm fine talking about my father and my uncle and my grandpa and whoever, whenever, just not in relation to this campaign. Right. Sorry. It's just... It's just that I've lived with my father's politics and my uncle's smartphones for years now. And finally, I've got something that's my own. This well, is my election. Well, that's just what I wanted to talk to you about. What, is my unopposed campaign suddenly tanking? That's just it. What? We're tanking? How's that even possible? No, the other thing. You're not unopposed anymore. You have a challenger. Who? Hey, Raymond, I wanted to warn you. I know the disappearance of Eagle has been hard for you. I just wanted to... Yeah, it really sucks how the cross hatching is so detailed. The Unabomber? Look, man, I'm sorry. I know how you feel. Emily Reinhardt made fun of me in the student news. You know I have a huge crush on Emily Reinhardt. You have no idea how I feel. I do. Hey, remember when I messed up the disappearing milk in the newspaper trick? Everybody called me Milk Boy? Yeah, that ruined my life. Look, look, for some consolation, I'll make it the Blake Donaldson campaign promise to clear your name and to bring glory back to the Magic Club, you know, like the old days when Michelangelo was still in charge. <sighs> Where are you going? You need to go blow off some steam. <laughs> <laughs>